Initial D! Welcome to another episode of this Initial D Let's Play. Today, we are here to continue what we started, and we are up against this guy in the black R32. I know there's two R32 people in this series. This is one of them. Uh, and we're going to face him, we're going to defeat him, and we're going to move on with our lives. That's basically what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's go ahead, get straight into him. He is the last battle on this track before we move on. I think we're on UC, but I might be wrong. Um, so yeah. Basically, we feed, we beat him, and then we move on to another track with a whole bunch of new opponents. Um, and obviously the difficulty is going to get harder, and I possibly might lose. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the first race, and hopefully be in first time. Okay, so here we go on the starting line against that black R32. Looks very nice. I do have a spot, soft spot for the R32 since it is kind of my favourite like Japanese car. Anyway... I'm hoping this S15 isn't at, any, at a disadvantage because it hasn't got any upgrades or like performance upgrades. I'm hoping that we've kind of got away with it so far, although it does seem like that 32 is quite fast. Yeah, we haven't upgraded this yet, which is kind of a dumb idea to be honest, because as you can see the 32 is very fast compared to this. Alright, here we go around that corner. We need to start gaining because right now... We are like too far away. Oh my god, using a controller again is basically like having autism. Alright, I'm on his ass. I'm on his ass. I'm gonna take you right now. I'm gonna take you right now. Where where am I gonna I'm gonna take you right there? Namaste. Oh my language would like to say get fucked, you jap cunt. Oh god, I'm gonna get gone sued. Family friendly! No, that was that was that was actually quite easy to be fair. I feel like this is kind of a repeat of what happened last time round in the Salati race. Like, we would, we were quite far behind, and now we're in the lead, and we're basically going to stay in the lead. I spoke way too soon. Oh my god, he's right behind me. <laughs> Fuck's sake, why did I say that? I think this is like the last checkpoint too, or like one of the last checkpoints. Oh, for god's sake, he's literally right there. Leave me alone! No, 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 no. If I even take one bad corner right now, he's going to fuck me up, and I, I've just took one bad corner. Shit. Um... I don't know if I'm going to win this, to be honest. I'm actually really, really not looking forward to the end of this Let's Play because, like I said, using a controller is absolute cancer. Right, we're going to have to take him in this corner. I feel like we've got some pace right now. I saw the checkpoint. It's just around this corner. Oh, my God. Right at the last minute, we did it. And on the last corner. We did that on the last corner. That couldn't have got any closer. That really, really couldn't have. Hey, Miggy, I'll be fucking in the state. You surprise, ain't you, bitch? You surprise. You fucking surprise. We can translate these these cutscenes right here. I think I might do this for the whole let's play, to be honest. Anyway, with that being said, we have now completed this course. I've called it Usi for the whole course, for the whole video. And I don't even know if it's Usi, so we're just going to say it's Usi for now. Hmm? Oi, oi, oi. You bitch. Right, we're going to call this guy bitch boy number one because I'm sure there's going to be more than one at some point. And I think this is Akigi, I want to say. I feel like this is Akigi. And this guy seems to be in AS14. Kaluki. I feel like we're going to need to upgrade our car at some point very, very soon. And this course is going to be so hard. I know for a fact Akigi... It's a very intricate course, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, there we go. We're, we're rev banging right now. We're still rev banging. That's on purpose. I downshifted then on purpose. Right, on the left-hand side. Cut you on the left-hand side. Yes. You just been cut up, you little bitch. Right, he's still on my ass, which isn't good. Oh, no. You've taken me. You've taken me. Third and fourth gear are just cancer. It just feels a bit sluggish. That I'm not sure. There's just li very, very little low-end torque. I'm noticing. Although we are getting away, which is good. Um, it seems like that was the kind of break we needed. I'm not going to upgrade until we lose, I think, is the main thing. I'm just going to save my money for now so I know what to upgrade, you know, in the future. You was. And by the looks of things, Lil Beach number one has just been conquered. Right, and flip, down a gear. I think I'm getting kind of used to the way the physics are with the controller. It's very, very hard to get used to, don't get me wrong. But I feel like I'm like slowly getting there. The worst part, or the hardest part I should say, about playing this game is how to get out of a drift. I can get myself into a drift easily, but how to actually exit one, I have no clue. Ooh! 
Yes! And again, and again, and again, and again. Oh my god, I am basically a god. Right, so that is the first race on Akagi 1. By the seams of things, there we go, across the line. Lil Bish has been conquered. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Oh. Right, so from what I understood of that, he said, uh, You little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. That's what he said. That was all he said out of the whole thing. He just said, You little bitch. And then he just. That was it. That was the whole sentence. Nice to see I'm making friends in this story mode. So nice to see friends are being made. Ooh, so this guy, he's definitely got a big penis, I can tell you that much. He's saying I got a little pussy car, he's saying I got a little bitch car. I, I tell you, tell you boy, I, my car, not a little bitch car, okay? So I, what am I even doing anymore? Nigga, I flex. That's all you need to know, I flex. Right, so now we are against the, the guy in the Evo. Um, the, uh, one of the early Evos. Is it Evo 4? I want to say 3, 4, 3. Might be a 3, actually. Um, no, it is a 3. It says in the top right-hand corner, you fucking retard. And it seems like we've taken the lead right at the start. That makes me think that his catch-up is going to be absolutely OP towards the end. We don't need to upgrade this yet. I'm really confused. You'd think, you know, like, after I've conquered two mountains now, that they'd make me upgrade my car. But it seems like, you know, little Silvio over here. Silvio? What the fuck? The little Silvio over here doesn't need to do anything to it at the moment. We need to get a body kit on this. We need to get a big ass body kit, a big ass wing, and then everything's gonna be okay. This is co a completely different course uphill. I'm not sure if this is just me, but it feels a lot tighter. And the low end torque on this S15 is really like showing dividends right now because this feels really, really slow. Also, he's managed to get to 19 meters of me, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, fuck. He's literally, like, r touching me right now. Stop touching me! No, no, you're not passing me. You're not passing me, right, break. Make sure that I take that perfectly. I took that kind of perfectly. How do I get out of drifts in this? What am I doing? Oh, God. I am pretty sure I'm, like, two corners away from the finishing line. Oh, for fuck. Fuck. Come here, come here, come here. It's not over to the fifth lady thing. Ah, it's over. It's over. It's over. I'm gonna have to upgrade my car now, aren't I? The disadvantages of not using wheel really showed in that race. Right, so I think it might have been the last episode. We actually put some rims on the car and did a few other things. It might have been the episode before that, actually. Now we're gonna focus on the performance of grades because our car really, really needs it. Now we've got a few like little categories down here. Um, I think one of them is like handling, one of them's power, one of them's weight reduction, and then one of them is like with the brakes and stuff. Um, and at least that's kind of how I think they're separated. It kind of gives you a little preview of what you're going to do before you do it, which is pretty cool. Um, the first things first is I think we're going to go ahead and install the air filter. I think that's important. And then I think we're also we're going to do this, whatever. So I think that's that, are those brake pads. They look like brake pads. So we're going to install the brake pads. That's we still got a lot of money left over, by the way, guys. We still got a lot of money left over. I think we're just going to take everything to stage one, actually. So we'll put in the LSD and anything else which needs to be put in to make it this car stage one. Right, now we have got enough money to do a few other things. I'm going to put the flywheel in, um, and that takes us up to around 15k, and I'm going to leave it there. I think I might also now work on actually putting that body kit on. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough money. You know what? We'll put this in as well, and then now we'll work on the body kit with the remaining points we have left. Now, my whole thing with the body kit is I said I wanted to make it look like a time attack kit almost. I want it to be wide. I want it to have a huge spoiler. I want it just to be, like, absolutely dumb, basically. Um, so I think the first things first is maybe doing the the actual bumpers and stuff. Oh, fuck. It's 30k for a front bumper. I didn't think this through. Right then, uh, do we go for the spoiler first? No, we can't even afford a spoiler. We can't even avoid, afford a spoiler. And the thing is, I know what I want to do to it as well. I want something like that type of wing. I just want a huge wing, like a huge strong wing like that. Right, in that case, we're going to have to start saving. We're going to have to start saving for our body kit as well as the performance stuff. So what we're going to do, I think, next time round, 
is we're probably going to get the wing next. I think we're going to save it for the wing next. And then we're going to go straight back into the race that we just lost. And I'll hopefully win it. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bit of a different one. It was like half racing, half customization. Um, if you want to see more Initial D Extreme Stage and you want to see the, steri the series, stick around. Hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome. Stay safe and peace. You know,